Hey guys, Garage Sailor Vaughn here. It is October 27th, 2012, and everything, not including my cat, um, I picked up. And I'm going to show you everything, what I paid, and what I expect to get out of it. Even though quite a bit of the stuff I got, just to end up keeping. So, of course my cat is in the video because she can't not be in the video. This is an air mattress. It is made by Intex, I believe. I already uh, blew it up and cleaned it and it works perfectly. And it came with this pump here. And you can see you plug it in and charge it and then it can fill up the entire thing. So I paid $5 for uh, the charger, the filler upper, and the uh, full size air mattress. It's pretty big and the estimated value is $30 for it. Um, I believe I'm going to be keeping it though. So here I'll move over to this and I'll be keeping this too. Uh, this is super light, it's aluminum. I paid a dollar for it and uh, it would sell for 10 bucks on eBay. But you're wondering, what is it? But this is a pan and then it's like locked, it's for backpacking or camping. And in the pan, there's uh, like two different bowls and a cup, and it's just super lightweight for backpacking. My cat's stretching. Okay, so next is the speaker. It's a really good looking speaker, and the guy wanted $10 for it, and I offered five. So I got it for five. And luckily, they're going for $35 on eBay. So, very cool. It's kind of a gamble. I just got it because it looked really good. Um, the next one, well, I'm going to be keeping it, but it is a spatula made of olive wood. And it's like brand new. It doesn't show any signs of uh, being used at all. And uh, here it says Spain. It's upside down, but it says Spain right there. So... Yeah, I paid 50 cents for it, and it would sell for about $15, but I'm gonna keep it. This next one is a coffee scooper, and it says Starbucks coffee on it. Right there, Starbucks coffee. And uh, I paid a quarter for it, and one, the exact same thing, sold on eBay for $15, so I think I could actually get that, which I think crazy expensive for that but and then I just included in a lot nice cream scooper in it and I'll be keeping it so it doesn't even really count the next one is this fur fighter and there are all these extra strips and here's the thing handheld thing for picking up fur like on carpet uh, her hair is on everything so I decided I'll just end up keeping it it was only a dollar but on eBay, it would go for like $8 with all the extra sheets and the uh, hand helping itself. So another kind of a cool random find is this. So it's open, but I took it out and it's still like everything in there is still like attached and it's never been used. So it's like new, but like with an open box. So this was $2 and it is a Coleman fish pen fishing pole and it extends over three feet I just thought it was pretty cool the guy said that he had a few and he ended up he sold like all of them except he had one left so I was like okay done I'll take it two, two bucks it's not bad at all and I was really happy to see that uh, new ones like this were selling for as you can see my estimate is thirty dollars so very cool thirty bucks for kind of a gamble I was, I was considering even keeping it because it's pretty cool, but I believe I'm going to sell it for that price. And the next one, it is a calculator, Texas Instrument. I always try to get all calculators that I can find, uh, especially ones by Texas Instrument. I'm using one hand, but I'll open it up uh, so you can see it's like that is brand new and this calculator is like brand new. It's solar power, which is kind of cool. TI-36X Solar. Yeah, so in brand new condition and it works perfectly. And it comes with the original manual. 
so they wanted a dollar for it so I was like done and I was really happy to see that they were selling for $17 on eBay so very cool find and the next one is this Coleman sleeping bag I think it was maybe used once or twice um, I paid three dollars for it I already took it out and tried to find the model and everything and I kind of couldn't or I couldn't find the exact same one on eBay um, that looked like this but it's a mummy bag zero degree mummy bag it's really cool so three dollars for the sleeping bag and um, my estimate is like thirty dollars on eBay so I believe I'll be selling it probably won't keep it but still very cool three bucks for thirty dollars okay and we'll move to another game system I haven't bought a game system in a while and I've never bought this game system this is an Xbox 360 I know very little about Xboxes I've never bought an Xbox before but this Xbox was $25 and it didn't come with any remotes it didn't come with any cables uh, she told me it worked but I honestly I'm gonna have to check it first um, I'm not exactly sure how I plan on selling it yet I think it's upside down actually right now but that's okay so yeah it was $25 and I can't really give you an estimate because I don't know enough about it yet uh, it was really dirty and kind of gross but as you can see it looks really nice now I cleaned it up uh, I cleaned everything up already and lastly are more Pyrex love getting Pyrex uh, all these are Pyrex except the cat the first one is a little loaf pan and this same one is selling for around $11 on eBay and there's another loaf pan this one's quite a bit nicer and it's brand new and this one would probably end up going for about $20 and this one is just a smaller casserole pan and $25 and then this one a larger casserole pan also $25 um, I really don't like shipping Pyrex glass because I've had I think more than one bad experience with stuff breaking in the mail doesn't matter how well I seem to package it it's it's just scary shipping glass because you never know what's gonna happen no matter how many times you write fragile on the box or whatever so will I end up keeping it maybe will I not I don't know so they were a dollar a piece so one two three and four dollars for all four pieces 25 25 20 and 11 so you also have to think about shipping they're gonna cost quite a bit to ship so I mean this one's gonna be a medium flat rate box uh, so that'd be like 11 um, actually they probably all will be the same because these are taller they'll fit in a the box kind not or the uh, the uh, more squared medium flat rate box um, and I well this kind of glass stuff I might end up shipping non priority well I don't know I'd probably end up shipping actually everything priority they're pretty heavy so think about ten dollars shipping off of that price so for eleven dollars I'm probably gonna end up keeping that because I don't think I'll be able to ship it safely without it breaking for enough to make profit so probably gonna keep that one and then the other ones I'm not really sure yet I'll decide as I go so um, yeah here's a lot of everything here so it was a pretty good day I found quite a bit of good stuff a bunch of gambles and a lot of it ended up working out pretty well like the calculator and the fishing pole so yeah she likes to be in all my videos she just finds me and has to be in the video. She won't look at the camera ever. Look at the camera. See, she's super sensitive because I have other cats and they bother her. Here she is. Look. Yeah, she won't even look at the camera, but that's okay. So yeah, here's everything. I paid a total of $48 for everything you see here. And I know it's kind of an unfair estimate, because I'm gonna end up keeping quite a bit of it and also it doesn't include shipping and shipping is crazy on a lot of it but unrealistically the well, what everything is going to end up selling for 
I believe is going to be somewhere around three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, that is nowhere near the profit that I'm going to make. It's going to be at least half of that. But still, not a bad day at all. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below in the comment section. And I normally try to answer as many as I can. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, um, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.